What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to H and Clothings. Welcome to another wonderful tutorial. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful Buba top gear. If this is something you're really interested in, please do keep on watching and let us begin. We are going to be creating this beautiful blouse with just very simple steps, okay? First thing you need is your Ankara fabric or whatever fabric you're working with. This is the fabric I'm working with and particularly because it has borders along the um, salvage end. So I'm going to be folding this fabric into two. The first thing you actually need is the length of the top you're working with. So I want this top to be 21 inches long. So I don't want to hem the bottom part. That's why I'm just using exactly 21. However, if I was hemming, I would have used 22. So please use however cropped you want your blouse to be once you're done. But this is ideal for me. The next thing is to take your bust circumference and divide that measurement by four. My bust is 38. And when I divide 38 by four, I'm having 9.5. So I want to make sure that for the width of how much I folded, I'm having 9.5 plus extra. So this is okay. I'm having over 13. So that's perfect. Now, the next horizontal line you're going to put is your bust line measurement. From the top, I'm going to make my bust line nine and a half because if you look at this top, it has no specific definition. It's actually a freestyling top. So that's what I'll use for the armhole. And I'm also using 9.5 because I will need to slope the shoulder. So when I slope, this thing will reduce a little. And then this is the bottom, the hem of the blouse. Now, the next thing we'll do is put in the neck width. For the neck, I'll use three and a half inches. Okay, I think I'm going to go for four inches. And then the depth. I'll use three inches for my depth. So I'm using three for the depth, four for how wide it is. Okay, now let's move over to the bust line. So take your Bust measurement and divide it by 4. Bust is 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. Um, that's about here. And then to this 9.5, I'm going to add 2 inches. This 2 inches includes the ease on this blouse. It also has my sewing allowance. Okay. So... For the sewing allowance, I'll be sewing half inch and then the ease will be like three inches in total. But if you want your ease to be more, if you want these two inches to just be the ease on the blouse, then add your sewing allowance after the two inches. But I want these two inches to include the ease I need. So in total, I'm having 11.5. I'll just come to the hem as well. And put 11.5 so connect it now on the shoulder so what I'll just do is subtract one inch from what I have here remember that what we had here was 11.5 inches so I'll just subtract one inch here to make it 10.5 here and I'll mark this point. Okay, so from there, we can just 
connects it that way. Okay, and we just need to still drop this. So let me tell you by how much. I dropped by 0 0.75 inches there. Okay. So that will be the front. We can cut this out now. For the back you're still going to follow the same procedure the only difference is you are going to make this um, neck width come up instead of three inches for the depth i'll be using about two inches for the depth at the back that's the difference I'm starting the back neck from here. We are going to move over to the sleeve now. So I will... Fold this into two. The sleeve length I'm going to use is 18 inches. And I folded it into, first of all, fold into two. Let me tell you how wide it is at the hem. This first fold is for the right sleeve, the second fold for the left sleeve. So I folded it as much as 21 and a half inches at the hem area. Okay, 21 and a half inches. So that means in total is about 42 inches on fold. So I'm still going to fold it again into four so that I can properly draw this um, armhole. I'll just do a little, this one that will just go into the armpits, that's all. We don't even need to do sleeve cap measurement, whatever of that, we don't need to do that because this sleeve is not um, defined, like it's not that defined, it's like a booba sleeve. So very minimal, small. Let me see by how much from the top by one and a half inch. I just curved it by one and a half inch. I didn't even do it here again. So then I can separate the sleeves so that I'll have my two sleeves. So here are the pieces for my blouse. Okay. So once I sew it and I join it, it fits perfectly. So this is the blouse. We'll go ahead to join in simple steps now. Right side facing me. Then putting the other right side on it. I'm going to sew up the shoulders close.
after shoulders have been closed, open up open up what you've just sewn. So after opening up what you've sewn, you're going to take your sleeve and notch it. That notched part should match up with this seam line of the shoulder, okay? So you notched at the middle point there. Now you're going to place it right side on right side, matching up this part here. And you're going to sew up um, the sleeve into the armhole. You can start sewing from the middle. So we'll sew up the second part from there too. beautiful now that we are done sewing that part up so the next thing we're going to do is join up the side seams and the side seam will now run from sleeve hem into the blouse hem however i don't just want to take it straight that way i'll first start from this underarm point join to this part and then sew up that part just as how we did the armhole so that it comes out very nice that's what we'll do so i just used half an inch sewing allowance if you want your sewing allowance to be more than that please feel free so i just um Expose the other side so it will be easy for me to sew the other way. That's the side that was underneath before. I'll bring it to the top so that I'll be able to sew the other way. Okay. Finally, you can now fit to know if this neck is okay for you. If it's okay, all well and good. If not, you can drop the front a little more so that will be easy for you to fit in and out. And then once you're done with that, just use your bias and um, give this neck a very clean finish. Okay, so that's just about it for the blouse. Let me know if you do have any questions. Um, leave your comments, suggestions for the next video in the comments below. And I'll definitely love to read from you. Thank you. Check out this video if you want to see the matching skirts that I paired with this blouse. Very simple and straightforward tutorial as well. I also have this video that shows you how to install a zip perfectly. So check them out and see you in the next video.